Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station and your place in making today better than yesterday. This month, every month, we explore a topic, a topic to keep feeding our mind right with the good stuff and to keep our lives on the right track. When it comes to personal development, there's an interweaving of topics. One can feed into the other, but the most important aspect of them all is understanding your own personal stance. The more we learn about our human psyche, the better we can understand ourselves, our emotions, our perception, and so much more. But this all takes patience. And patience is our topic of the month. We talked in the past couple episodes about what patience is, what benefits we can get from practicing patience, but what happens when you find yourself running out of patience? What ripple effect takes place in your life when we have a lack of patience? There's a really impactful quote by Mother Teresa and many more, but this is one about patience. Without patience, we will learn less in life. We will see less. We will feel less. We will hear less. Ironically, rush and more usually means less. That says it all right there. Done. See you later. But let's explore a little deeper. Let's explore why patience pays by AccessiblePsychology.com. When we lose patience, we invariably suffer with the difficult and uncomfortable emotions of frustration. Indeed, with so many negative emotions associated with the lack of patience, it's surprising we don't prioritize overcoming impatience more. In reality, though, I think the impatience evident in those who are actively working to overcome it is a testimony to how challenging cultivating more patience can be. I also believe that all too often we resign ourselves to having to be a slave to our emotions, but fear not, this needn't be the case. Frustration. Frustration is an incredibly uncomfortable emotion that we experience when a situation doesn't play out the way we wished it to, or when we seem to be making little or no progress. It happens when we are struggling to find a clear solution, when we just don't know what will solve the issue at hand. Our frustration can be overwhelming when we are impatient with ourselves. When we are in a state of frustration, we can feel discouraged, low, and sometimes even hopeless, a precursor to a depressive state. What about stress? Stress is a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from an adverse or demanding circumstance. There are a wide variety of symptoms, and they fall into three main categories, these being psychological, emotional, and physical. Psychological symptoms include memory problems, persistent worrying, and poor concentration, and the effects of these can serve to actually increase stress. What impact would poor concentration or memory problems have on our work, for example? Emotional symptoms range from mood swings, feeling overwhelmed, an inability to relax, and even, in more severe cases, depression. Surprisingly, stress can affect our physical well-being, too. When we lose patience, we undergo stress, especially if there are time restraints on when something needs to be done or when we need to arrive at an important meeting, something along those lines, so many things within our lives can cause stress. Needless to say, to be impacted by stress regularly has a major emotional impact and can leave us mentally drained, causing our daily functioning to suffer. What about anger, conflict, and hurt? Anger is a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility, and when acted upon, usually escalates the situation, leading to increased conflict and emotional hurt. Anger, if uncontrolled, 
has the power to destroy relationships and leave those harboring it bitter and miserable. What about physical consequences of a lack of patience? There are also practical implications for those that exhibit impatience. Car accidents and injuries due to poor health and safety practices can be the result of someone who has been impatient. This often causes us to feel low when we suffer from the practical implications of not having optimal health. And how about regret and reduced self-esteem? More often than not, when we have acted out on our impatience in a hostile and negative way, we experience regret, which, if left unchecked, can lead to reduced self-esteem. It is vital in these moments to use regret positively by apologizing and making amends. It is also vital in these moments to ensure you practice self-compassion, reminding yourself you are human and that everyone makes mistakes. And here's a question to ask yourself. Do you recognize yourself as having suffered from any of these impacts from lacking patience? Did you find it surprising just how many downsides there are to being impatient? As you just heard, the lack of patience puts us within this lower functioning of emotions such as anger, frustration, sadness, shame, and that's not good for you or anyone around you. So there's a lot to be gained when we practice patience. So next time we'll explore how we can take actionable and practical tools to create more patience in our lives. We've had a lot of people asking how they can support us, especially during this time to stay on air. We're so grateful to be able to be with you each and every week. And if you found value in our podcast, head over to patreon.com slash loan doctrine, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash loan doctrine. The link is also in the show notes and it only takes a moment of your time. And with your support, you'll get bonus episodes, interviews, giveaways, and you'll become a part of our awesome community. Or better yet, share us with family, friends, or someone you feel would benefit from our support. Together, we are better. And we hope to see you at patreon.com slash loan doctrine. Until next time, keep fighting the good fight. (laughs) 